<clears throat> Thank you for joining us today. Uh, let me share my screen. And we will get going. Okay. Uh, so today we're going to talk about uh, a few things uh, related to REST APIs. Uh, specifically, there is a question that comes up uh, from time to time in our forums. Uh, people ask how they can save data coming from REST API in the local database. Uh, of course, if uh, the terms of service allow this kind of use, maybe you're not allowed to do that. I, you need to check with your REST API provider, but uh, we will show you how this can be done. Uh, before we start, I just want to show like uh, if you are new to REST API and you'd like to uh, get a few ideas of how this works, how to uh, uh, connect to REST API, configure a list operation, single operation, edit, delete, etc. I recommend uh, we have, uh, if you go to a webinar uh, schedule in a dev club and search for REST, uh, you will see, uh, I recommend that uh, uh, there is a two-part tutorial uh, related to working with uh, QuickBooks REST API. It covers uh, uh, all the topics related to REST API from the very beginning. How to create an account, create an app in the control panel, get API keys, connect, authenticate, get list of products, etc. Okay. So these two topics, uh, these two webinars uh, can be really useful if you are just getting into REST API. And for those who is already familiar and need to extend the functionality, let's see what we can do about, okay, setting the data. So when you configure a REST API, uh, in phpirana or espirana.net by default you are in the request mode let me copy this code so we don't lose it and switch back to request mode and it shows you how it normally looks when you just create uh, the rest api okay so uh uh, in this specific example, we will be using our own REST API as the data source. We have uploaded to to demo account, and it's uh, uh, it's a very simple one table named posts. And let me show you what kind of data it returns. There is no authentication of any kind because it's not relevant here in this example. So this is our own REST API, just a separate project that does nothing but source the data for this project, All right? And it returns uh, 100 records. in JSON format. That is it. It's very simple. So what we do here, we switch to PHP mode. And by default, uh, most of the code will be generated by uh, PHP runner already for you or sprunner.net. And what we're doing here, we just adding this piece of the code that uh, intercepts the execution and does something with uh, the data we receive from the REST API. So uh, there are two main approaches to how you can save uh, data uh, in the local database. So the natural approach is uh, to Again, it depends on the data, right? If the data is uh, like simple, plain, and like one level without nested data structures, then it probably makes sense to create a table in your database that mimics uh, structure 
of what we are getting from the REST API. So let me show it to you one more time. That's our REST API and it returns uh, fields like ID, user ID, title, and body. So what we did here in this example, we created a table in our database uh, named posts. Uh, where is it? Here it is. That has the, exactly the same uh, database structure, ID, user ID, title, and body. And this is pretty much it. Uh, we created this kind of table, and by default, this table is empty. But once we access our REST API, page it will be populated so let me show you how it works in the generated application and we will dig into the code the code is really really simple guys it's just very straightforward so this is our table so 100 records i will select all of them and i'm going to delete them okay okay no data here okay uh now we proceed to rest data to table rest view, the, the one I have just shown you. And it shows the data that we return uh, from the rest API. And now if you go to back to posts table, you can see that we populated it with the same amount of records right here. So, uh, let's take a look at the code. Again, most of it, I don't know if it's like, I don't think I can increase uh, font size here. So let me, let me show it to you in Notepad and we'll go through it. So most of the code again is generated by PHP runner. So this is the only part of the code that we are adding here. So first of all, we delete everything from post table. It's uh, not ideal, but we just delete it and insert one by one. So right now in our uh, RS, variable uh that is all, all our data uh it's our record set we received from a rest api and we just create an array with a list of the fields we insert and we do not insert id field because it's a outer increment and then we just call uh, uh, db insert function of database api that creates a new record in post stable right so on every single require every single time we proceed to this rest data to table page list page we will delete all records in post stable and populate it with the data received from rest api so if you really want to do use it in uh, your real project, uh, there are like a few things you may think of. First of all, maybe you do not need to delete all data. If you only have like a few records, like maybe under a thousand of records, maybe you can do that. But probably you can do like something that is smarter, like do not delete, but update existing uh, data, add new data, maybe something like this. For the small data sets, it's fine to delete everything and insert it again. That's not a big deal, not much of overhead. Uh, second, you probably don't want uh, this REST API uh, REST view to be open manually, like I just did, right? Uh, so again, if I delete it, Uh, I needed to uh, proceed to this uh, REST view right here. And now go back to post table, it is populated. But you don't want to do that uh, manually, right? 
probably what you can do, you can uh, set up some sort of a, uh, a job that runs, I don't know, like every 10 minutes, depending on how often data changes in the uh, REST API, once a day maybe. And you can set up a cron job or on Windows, you can use Windows Scheduler to set up this kind of job that will open this page on timely fashion. And again, it's very simple. Uh, let me delete all data here one more time. Delete. Okay, and now I can open the command uh, the command line. And I can just run uh, wget or curl or something similar that simply opens that URL. And it connects to localhost, it did something. And if you run this comment on timely fashion, uh, you will always have a fresh copy of data in your post table in your database. And what you can do now, just build your application to use your local database table and the rest view will be only used for data synchronization.